There are 12 counters in a bag. There is an equal number of red counters, blue counters and yellow counters in the bag. There are no other counters in the bag. Three counters are taken at random from the bag. Work out the probability of taking three red counters. So the first thing we'll want to note for this question is there is an equal number of red counters, blue counters and yellow counters in the bag. So if there are 12 counters in total, this means that there are four red counters, four blue counters and four yellow counters in the bag. Now the number we're interested in is the number of red counters, so we can write this down. Now because these three counters are being taken consecutively, we're going to want to multiply the probabilities. So initially we've worked out that there are four red counters in the bag and there are 12 counters in the bag in total. So the probability of taking out a red counter will be 4 over 12. So assuming that we've just taken one red counter out of the bag, this means there will only be three red counters left in the bag. And if we've taken one away from the total, this means there will be 11 counters left in the bag. Now again we can now assume that we've taken two red counters out of the bag, meaning there will only be two red counters left out of a total of 10 in the bag. And if we put this calculation into our calculator, this gives us a probability of 1 over 55. Now this question's worth two marks. We'll get our first mark for doing the correct calculation and our second mark for the correct probability. The three counters are put back into the bag. Some more counters are now put into the bag. There is still an equal number of red counters, blue counters and yellow counters in the bag. There are no counters of any other colour in the bag. Three counters are taken at random from the bag. Is it now less likely or equally likely or more likely that the three counters will be red? You must show how you get your answer. So we've been told in the question that there is still an equal number of red counters, blue counters and yellow counters in the bag. Now what we need to know from part A is that the probability was 1 over 55. Now the best way to do this question would be to double the amount of counters in the bag and then compare our new calculated probability. So there were four red counters in total before and if we times this by two, this gives us eight counters. And if there were 12 counters in total from the previous question and we times this by two, this tells us that there are 24 counters in total. So now what we need to do is work out our probability. So if there are eight red counters in total out of 24 counters, then as before, we're going to want to assume that we took out a red counter. So therefore minus one off both the numerator and the denominator. So we're going to want to multiply eight over 24 by seven over 23. And we've taken three counters out of the bag. So again, we're going to want to assume that we've taken two red counters out of the bag and multiply this by 6 over 22. And this gives us an answer of 7 over 253. And if we convert this to a decimal, this gives us an answer of 0 0.028. Now 1 over 55 as a decimal is 0 0.018. And it's useful to have both of our answers in decimals so that we can compare them. So as you can see, 0.028 is greater than 0.018. So therefore, we are now more likely to choose out three red counters. So the final thing we need to do is write a summary statement. So we can write something along the lines of, it is now more likely that three counters will be red because 0.018 is less than 0.028. Now this question's worth two marks. We'll get our first mark for choosing a larger value for the number of counters in the bag. And we'll get our second mark for our summary statement in which we stated that we are now more likely to have three counters that are red. 